Hello, today I'll be talking to you about the way in which finite phase fractions, as well as other microstructural constituents within an os tempered steel, can be quantified by way of nano indentation. Note that XRD is used as a reference in baseline for the percentage of each phase present as a function of the os temper and hold temperatures. I'd like to thank Mi Yang, Richard D. Sisson, and Daniel L. Cody, all of which have Provided, with, provided me with enormous support and encouragement along the way. Os tempering is a hardening process, which is achieved through the use of a heat treatment. And in steels, it results in the formation of bainite. The transformation percentage of bainite must be quantified in order to determine the bainite transformation kinetics associated with the os tempering thermal treatment and composition of a given steel. Herein, we used XRD as a baseline and rip field refinements to identify the amount of martensite, austenite, and bainitic ferrite present as a function of the os tempering condition. As you can see, the Rip field refinements were applied to the bainite martensite peaks that overlapped, as well as some of the surrounding austenitic peaks, such that an approximate percentage of each could be derived. Again, this illustrates exa an example of an os tempered sample that was held at 600 degrees Fahrenheit for one minute. At the same time, the percentages associated with martensite, bainitic ferrite, and retained austenite are shown for various os tempering hold times as well. As we can see, the amount of bainite continues to increase as the os tempering condition or the os tempering hold time increases, while the retained austenite and martensite decrease. This is expected. While the root field refinement and some of the XRD based analysis are promising measures and provide interesting insights, nanomechanical mapping can achieve the same with high throughput and more statistically significant data as well, depending on if you are interested in characterizing multiple runs under the same processing conditions. Here we see contour plots of hardness and modulus for the two minute, five minute, and 30 minute tempers, A, B, and C respectively, and the resultant hardness histograms affiliated with each condition. These contour plots were produced using the NanoBlitz 3D method, uh, affiliated with KLA instruments or Nanomechanics Incorporated's iMicroPro and iNano systems. As you can see, the hardness decreases as a function of os tempering hold time, which is indicative of the dissolution and reformation of bainite as the austempering hold time increases. Using the aforementioned data associated with the nanomechanical maps, we can see through probability density function deconvolution of the hardness data that the two minute, five minute, and 30 minute agree with the XRD derived trends. In the two, five, and 30 minutes, we see that bainite increases from 33% to 43.5 and ultimately 97.3%. While the martensite decreases in the austenite and our low carbon martensite, given their similar hardnesses, show an overall decreasing trend as well. At the same time, to substantiate the different microstructures as a function of os tempering hold times, the corresponding SEM micrographs as well as optical micrographs are shown. With respect to the hardnesses identified, we can also substantiate macro scale material properties that were measured using micro hardness and rock wall hardness testing as a function of the os tempering hold times to show that as the martensite and austenite decrease and the bainite increases, the overall hardness would be expected to decrease as well. Rather than using 
probability density functions, one can also consider k-means clustering, which is a form of machine learning or sophisticated statistical analysis, wherein spatial information can be retained and phases can be identified as a function of the cluster they are found to belong to. Here we see raw data in terms of the hardness values in the X and Y coordinate points associated with the mechanical maps and the resultant k-means cluster ident phase identification, where in one phase is associated with the austenite or low carbon martensite, another is the bainite, and finally the other is the high carbon martensite. Initially, we observed a discrepancy whether k-means clustering or probability density function deconvolution was used in terms of the exact percentage of bainite present as a function of the os tempering hold times. While the trends were similar, regardless of what method was used, the bainite derived from the Ritfield refinements with the XRD system was 64% whereas the k-means clustering and probability density function deconvolutions were 40%. Now, this was found to be a matter of indentation spacing and test parameter optimization. As can be observed here, another attempt at applying nanomechanical mapping was pursued, wherein Indentation spacing was brought closer together in according with recent findings by Dr. Warren Oliver on the fundamental limit of spacing as a function of indentation depth, such that more than 10,000 indents were collected in 100 micron by 100 micron array. This resulted whether k-means clustering was used or probability density function deconvolution was used in about 60% bainite concentration in the five minute sample, os tempered sample. This is much more agreeable with the bainetic percentage quantified using XRD analysis. Furthermore, when we apply data cleaning and pre processing such that outliers are removed and filled in according to their nearest neighbors, and histogram extreme values within the probability density function histograms are removed. The resultant k-means clustering and probability density function deconvolutions are also found to be to refine further, bringing it even closer to the value associated with the XRD derived amount of bainite present. Such a critical tool can be implemented for self-similar materials other than os tempered steels, wherein one wants to quantify the amount of a phase present as a function of the processing conditions utilized. Thank you for your time, and I hope this inspires people to consider the prospect of incorporating nano testing into their characterization suites.